Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. This video, I'm going to show you how you can make your letters spin. So we've got it so that when we click on the sprite, the letter J, it's going to start a sound, it's going to change some color and do some fisheye, and if I press the green flag, ta-da, it clears the graphic effects. Cool, that's great, but I want to make it spin. So to do that, I'm going to use a motion block, and I got a couple different options here. I want to make it so that it turns. So now when I click, it has that awesome sound and it makes it so that it turns 15 degrees. That's that's nice, but I actually wanted it to spin around, not make it so that I have to click over and over and over. So we can actually um, do that using a control block. So we go to control, and we can tell it to repeat something. So we could have it repeat just the turn by putting it like this. So only the turn is inside here, and it's gonna repeat this 10 times. So when we click, that's what it does 10 times. Or we can actually change this to a larger number, like 50. So now when we click, does that that's cool now if I wanted to actually make it spin forever what I could actually do is I could type in a really long number here if I wanted to but that wouldn't go forever just go however many numbers that is at least seven there's actually a block here and it's called the forever block simple enough to remember and we can put the turn inside of here so now when we click this is gonna go forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and I'm gonna keep saying this forever and ever no I'm not that'd be annoying Sorry, I'll stop. Speaking of stop, press this button, and then I'll stop it from going forever. But uh-oh, my letter's upside down. So just like before with the clear graphic effects, we can make it so that we can reset a sprite's um, position where it's uh, looking at, so the direction. So to do that, we say point and direction. And if you click on this, it tells you what direction it's looking. So 90 is going to have it face upright. So when I press the go button, the green flag, it fixes it. If I wanted to start facing, I don't know, negative 135, press the green flag, and now it's facing 135. I don't like that. So I'm going to say 90. Cool. That's great. So what you're going to do is you're going to experiment with not just the turn blocks, but check out all these other motion blocks. There's a ton of really cool things you could do. Like maybe you could randomize it and make it go to different positions. Now, if you do stuff like that, just know that when you reset your sprite, you're going to have to reset it using different blocks. So let's see if you can figure out how to do that. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.